Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today, Derek and I are gonna take you along as we shop Trader Joe's. So Derek and I have never shopped Trader Joe's together and I'm really excited about this. We find a ton of things for the holidays and that's what we were looking for. We were looking for things for our grazing boards, charcuterie boards, holiday desserts, holiday foods, and especially right now for Thanksgiving. Let's jump in and see what we see. Ooh, kettle corn popcorn. Ooh, I love kettle corn. Yum, sweet and salty kettle corn. Don't mind if I do. Puffed peanut and corn snacks with hazelnut cream filling. What? What is that? Okay, their fall harvest salsa. I do remember trying one year and it was really good. So it's fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. This was actually good. Do you guys like this? Yum. Chipotle black bean dip. Garlic chipotle salsa. Oh, that sounds good too. Island salsa. Chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. What? Two of my favorite things, garlic, and chipotle. Chipotle. Look at this. Yes. Chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah. Right? Veggie and flax, flax seed, seed corn yeah. tortilla chips. You got the corn and tomato, spinach and garlic, and red beet and onion are the different Ooh. chips. Let there. me know down below, guys. Have you tried these? Do you like them? They look good. Two sixty nine. Quinoa and black bean infused. That will probably be very good. Fig and olive crisps. Crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to com complement cheese spreads, dips, and toppings. That is interesting. Interesting. Raisin and rosemary. Wow. Those sound good. Flour crisps. Look at all of the choices you have. Spicy wow. Here. Ooh, spicy copa, spicy suppressa, salami. Ooh. Cooked Ooh, spicy. that would be really good to serve up on our grazing boards. Full salami? Wow. You're making a charcuterie board or a grazing board. They have quite a bit to choose from. Derek just got super excited. He these found the best. He loves these <laughs> folios, yeah. cheese wraps. Oh yeah. Is that crazy. what you made that pizza on for me that one time? No, that was something different. Oh. But I, yeah. So this I made like a whole salad. It's good stuff. Double creme brie cheese with truffles, imported from France. Ooh, that sounds good. Sounds amazing. So yeah, I am definitely checking out these cheeses for our grazing board and charcuterie board for Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving. So we're definitely gonna try this for sure. I know you guys suggested the cranberry goat cheese, but I am not, it looks good, but I'm not a fan of goat cheese. Do you guys like goat cheese? I've tried, I just can't get my palate to go that way. Ooh, he found two of his favorite things together. Whoa. Mango apple and ha fruit snacks. Oh, I didn't see the mango apple. Jalapeno. Mango jalapeno. Interesting. It's an interesting fruit snack. Uh, watermelon jerky. Uh. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Has anybody had it? <laughs> My aunt picked up some from Costco and it was so weird. <laughs> you didn't like it. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Everything but the bagel, nut duo. Mm -hmm. so that's the seasoning you like, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. So they m must infuse that with the nuts and it tastes like that. 
Look at all the selection of nuts, you guys. And seeds. So much that you can have out this holiday season. Ooh, garlic and onion pistachios. Now that sounds good, Derek. I think we would like that. I think we would like that a lot. But look at all this. Wow, guys. A lot to pick from that you could put out this holiday season. They have gluten-free stuffing mix, you guys. I think I'm gonna have to get this and try it. Oh, and if it's good, I'd be over the moon excited this holiday season. Have you tried this? Let me know. I'm definitely gonna pick some up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Pumpkin chocolate oatmeal cookie mix. What? This sounds amazing. Let me know if you've tried it. Everything, everything that I show you, let me know if you've tried it, okay? I don't wanna keep saying it throughout the whole video. But this looks amazing. They have cornbread stuffing mix for $3.99. Simply add butter and water. So I'm gonna try their cornbread mix. Which kind of stuffing do you like? Do you like cornbread or just a regular bread? What do you like? Or the gourmet. <laughs> I told Derek I have a lot of French fried, you know, onions for the holidays. He's like, yes, but are they gourmet? gourmet. <laughs> He's so funny. This looks delicious. This does look good. Creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Oh, and they have pumpkin bisque, a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. Well, how do you choose? Maybe you don't. Maybe you get both. Derek loves miso. Miso ginger broth. Ooh, there you go. I'm snagging one of these. I am spotting turkey stock. Oh my gosh. I haven't oh, seen go. that before. Crispy jalapeno pieces. That would be good on a burger. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Sprinkle on mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, sushi, tacos, nachos, or vegetable dishes. Oh, yeah. They have a smoky barbecue coconut aminos. Ooh, see we love that this one here. Great. Eggplant garlic spread. Ooh, I would like that with sweet red peppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm all about the pickle. <laughs> well, my dad would like that. I really wish there was a Trader Joe's closer to us. This one is about 25-ish minutes away. But I need to come in here more because I really do like what I'm seeing. And I'm just gonna make it a point to make that trip here. Is Trader Joe's outside the United States? Probably not. But let me know in the comments below if you shop at Trader Joe's and what are your go-tos. Autumnal. Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. Ooh, that would be good over ravioli. Uh, that'd be really good on that. Yeah, salted mm. caramel good. flavored hot cocoa. Good find. Yeah, should we? Yep. Yep. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Did you yeah. like the dark one or did you like the milk one? We've dark had is both. Better. See, and I'm a more of a milk person, and Derek's this, but we've had these before and they are so good. 
We take them a lot on our beach trips. Do you guys want to see something super, super cute? This is a hot cocoa stirrer. So it's double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini marshmallows. How cute is that? That's cute. I know you can make these and give them out like as neighbor gifts, but if you didn't want to do that, and they're only 99 cents, so a dollar here at Trader Joe's. All the desserts look so good. I have tried their macaroons and they were delicious. And a rustic apple tart and a Nantucket style cranberry pie. These would be amazing for the holiday season. Look at this, pumpkin cheesecake. <gasps> they have gluten-free pie crust. Gluten-free pie crust is $4.49. The pumpkin cheesecake is $6.99. Same as the Nantucket style cranberry pie. And the rustic apple tart is $4.99. Wow. We used to make these all the time. Oh, we love these. Yum. They also have the actual pie. Oh, wow. Look at all these awesome things to have for the holidays, guys. Great appetizers. All the grazing stuff. Yum. Pastry puffs. Beef franks wrapped in a pastry puff. Oh, they even have baguettes. Five cheese Greek spiral. Oh, Yummies. yum. <laughs> we came hungry, guys. We're going on a date after this with a group of friends to dinner, and we're hungry. <laughs> like, I can eat everything. <gasps> Spicy pumpkin samosas. Oh, those look good. I don't know what that is, but we I like it. This is a breaded a breaded turkey stuffed roast with gravy. That is something to serve up for a small crowd on Thanksgiving or Christmas. That turkey list? Turkey -less. Oh, this is turkey list. It's vegan. Oh, I see, I see. And then they have it, the turkey one here. Very nice. This is $15.99. And this is $12.99. Wow. We have had the soft baked snickerdoodles before. They are amazing. And I was just looking at the chocolate chip cookies. Had these before too. These are super good. Look at this apple cinnamon oatmeal bites. Keep frozen. Those might be really good. $2.99 for asparagus spears. Wow, green beans, $1.99. Ooh, artichoke hearts, $3.29. Wow. Frozen Brussels sprouts. Oh, look at this. All these peppers. Already frozen for ya. $2.99. I need to start shopping here more. short ribs. Getting hungry? Uh, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Shepherd's pie. Ready to bake it. Serves two. Chicken burrito bowl. Pumpkin empanadas.
This is what you guys keep saying we gotta try. Look at that, that looks good. And this looks good, the tempura yeah. cauliflower. Kung Pao. Wow. It all looks good. I love that they sell the scallops. Oh, my mom used to make scallops for us all the time growing up. Wow. You can get a whole young chicken here, $7.82 for that one. So $2.99 a pound, that is not bad. Uh, what is it? Air chicken. Nice. We love smoking up chicken on our Traeger, like a whole chicken. Or I love doing it in the slow cooker, and I'll leave a recipe for that down below. Our chicken breasts, the press, look at that price. So they got the quarters. Oh, I love barbecuing up lay quarters. Those are my favorite. Spatchcocked chicken. That's what you keep telling me to do when you split it and butterfly it open. Yes, butterfly it open. Mm -hmm. Pesto chicken, chicken breast. Oh my gosh. The, ooh, that would be so good. It's just a fun word. Shawarma. That would be delicious. Balsamic rosemary beef steak tipster. Carne asada. Yes. Oh, we love that. That might be worth picking up for sure. Bone in beef short ribs. Oh, that looks good too. You guys said the pumpkin ravioli is good. Stuffed with pumpkin brown sugar and ricotta cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that pumpkin um, brioche, brioche, Derek? Uh, what do you hello, think? Hello, French toast. Yes, I know, that's what I'm thinking. Can you imagine having this on Thanksgiving morning? Oh, they have gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. Okay, well that's coming home with me. But yeah, I think the kids would like that. I have shared with you, and I have a video, I'll link below, of a pumpkin French toast that you can make from scratch. But, hey, maybe we don't have to do that this year. We can go straight to this. So that would be really yummy to have on Thanksgiving morning. We got a bunch of yummy things and after our dinner tonight with friends 
we're gonna come back before they close and we're gonna grab all the frozen things that we saw. That would be perfect this holiday season to share with friends. We've got quite a few gatherings at our house this year and I think a lot of the things we saw would complement the holidays so well. Okay, we are back. It's actually the next day. We went to dinner last night with friends and we had plenty of time to go back to the store and pick up all the cold items that we saw. But poor Derek wasn't feeling good so we headed home. So I will head back out but there's things that I saw that I would definitely want to pick up. Especially in the dessert aisle and that freezer aisle. All those um, tarts and the cranberry cake. Oh my gosh, those look so good. So we'll be making another trip back to get some of those desserts. But let me share with you what we got to try. And I'm going to taste some of these right now with you and see what I think. So let's jump into the haul. Let's start with this bag. The crispy jalapeno pieces sounded so intriguing. Derek's a huge fan of jalapeno and they gave some really good ideas with this. Sprinkle on mashed potatoes. Can you imagine this holiday season that on there? Mac and cheese, sushi, tacos, nachos, or vegetable dishes. So we're gonna give this a whirl. For Thanksgiving, I wanted to try the turkey flavored gravy. It's ready to use and it's gluten free. Trader Joe's turkey gravy combines the flavors of roasted turkey with savory spices that will make any meal taste like a special occasion feast. All right, we're gonna give this a whirl. Peri Peri sauce with fermented and dried chilies, a condiment with rich, complex heat. This sparked Derek's interest. I have no idea. I don't even know what you would put it on. If you have had this, will you please tell me what you put it on? It really intrigued Derek and he wanted to give it a whirl. I also wanted to try their regular turkey stock here, especially when your turkey is dry. Let's say you roasted your turkey, you're ready to serve it, but you notice it's dry. Put it in a pan of turkey stock or chicken stock and let it heat on low with the stock. It'll make the turkey juicy again. I actually learned that from Rachel Ray when Kelly was a baby. And that's probably one of the best tips I've learned from Rachel Ray. Okay, I definitely picked up the gluten-free stuffing mix. If this tastes good, I will definitely be returning because gluten-free is a hit and miss sometimes. But I wonder if it could go in the slow cooker. If you guys use this, let me know. Have you ever done it in the slow cooker? Because I love making stuffing in the slow cooker. So I am so making this up this year. I can't wait to try it. And then I wanted to try their regular cornbread mix as well. I know I'm gonna get the question, am I gluten-free? Do I have celiac? No, but I am intolerant to it. If I wanna look pregnant, all I have to do is eat gluten. It's amazing. I kinda swell up with it. So, but I don't have celiac. At least I don't think I do. I've never gotten tested for celiac. But I believe if I had celiac, I would have other issues. The organic smoky flavored coconut aminos. Derek wanted to try this. He loves coconut aminos. We already have some in our fridge. So he wanted to see how this would work. And then I grabbed some balsamic glaze. Oh, if you're doing your charcuterie boards and grazing boards, you're gonna want some of this to drizzle over things. It is so good. And I'm excited to try their brand. So I needed some of that, so perfect. First bag is done, let's go to the second bag. We have the pumpkin cobbler. Oh. <laughs> Everyone says this is amazing, so I'm taking their word for it. It is pumpkin cobbler with buttery pecan crumble. We're gonna be trying this, so hold off. I'm gonna show you everything and then we're gonna taste some things and we're gonna taste this. Some orchetti. My family calls it strushies. This is the pasta that my mom and grandma make and every time our family gets together, she makes it, but I am horrible at making it and I need to do better for posterity's sake, but I grabbed a bag already made, so perfect, yum. And then I grabbed a few of these double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoons that I shared with you. I thought they would be fun to give out as gifts and things like that. So we have some of those. Put them in stockings, give them as gifts. Just an added treat in a, a bag of gifts that you're giving. The crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies. I really like these. I wish they had the ginger snaps there. I believe they have the ginger snaps as well, right? Or, or am I creating a memory? But these are delicious. Um, they're gluten-free, buttery rich chocolate chip cookies that melt in your mouth, and they really do. I do enjoy these. I've had them before. 
All right, and I wanted to try, because I hear everyone raving about it, their pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Just add eggs, oil, and water. We will be having family in town for Thanksgiving, so this would be just something fun to make up in the afternoon and have together. And of course, we thought about our dogs, Cece and Paige. We got them these two Kuteri uh, assorted dog treats. So let's see if they like them. Oh, the soft bake snickerdoodles. These are amazing, free of wheat, milk, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, and soy. They're vegan and gluten-free, and they're addicting and delicious. Whenever we go to the lake, my mother-in-law stops at Trader Joe's and gets these snacks, and we fall in love with them. The autumnal <laughs> harvest soup, this sounded amazing. I think this would be a yummy lunch or serve up as a starter for your holidays. Creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. I'm excited to try this. I thought, ooh, how fun would that be on an autumn day, especially today where there's a little bit of rain? And then the pumpkin bisque. Derek enjoys a bisque, so this actually intrigued him more than that soup. A creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. So I think today might just be the day that we eat that for lunch. Okay, I did pick up everything but the bagel. I picked up like seven of these. So I'm using them as gifts this year for people that I know that love this, that enjoy this. All right, bag number two done. Let's go to bag number three. Some quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips made with stone ground white corn, quin red quinoa and black beans. So I know this goes with a salsa that I know we picked up. Let's see if it's in this bag. Well, there's island salsa, chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. If you have had this, what do you eat it with? I'm excited to try it. Okay, they're gluten-free pumpkin bagels. So excited to see these. They're nice and soft. I'm so excited, especially since they're gluten-free. So I'll be giving these a try. Needed some apple cider for the season. And here we have the Trader Joe's Honey Crisp Apple Cider. And there was another apple cider there, but this one caught my eye because it said Honey Crisp, and I love Honey Crisp apples. So we have this to serve up this holiday season. And then the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. I couldn't help myself. I know the kids are gonna love this. It'll be fun to bake up on a nice fall afternoon. Salted caramel flavored hot chocolate. We are huge hot chocolate people here in our home. So when Derek and I both sat on the shelves, we actually like looked at each other like, oh yeah, not even a question, going in the cart. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Pumpkin cream cheese spread. I took it out of the fridge and put it back in the bag. <laughs> so I am excited to try this. This sounds amazing and put it on the bagel. Ooh, can't wait. I just tasted some. Oh my gosh. You need this in your life. You need this. Yep. Oh yeah. This is some miso ginger broth. Derek loves miso soup. It's comforting to him. This will be his and he will so enjoy this. And then the fall harvest salsa that we got for the quinoa chips. Fruits and veggies included pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. Oh, let me go back to the fridge because we did grab one more thing that did well in our cold bag. And it was the brie with truffles cheese. This I want on our grazing board. I can't wait to try it. Everyone was raving about it at the register. Two of the boys there that were help checking us out, he's like, have you had this before? No, and he's like, you're gonna love it. So I'm so excited to try this. And we saw some meats there we definitely want for our grazing boards. So I'll be going back. And if you like this video, would you like me to go back again? And do I need to go back for Christmas? Okay, bag three down, and now to our final bag. Kettle corn. We are huge fans of kettle corn. So this is the sweet and salty popcorn. Can't wait. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. And the bag is so pretty with the pink. Oh no. And then the organic white truffle potato chips with Italian white truffles and fleur de sel sea salt. I just butchered that. Whew. 
They have a strong smell. Whoa. Ooh. That is good. That is good. Hit you strong at first, but that is good. Then we have these pumpkin brioche breads that we are so excited to do French toast with. Now in the store, I did say that we did make a pumpkin French toast. I have a video on it for you, it's linked below. But maybe this will cut all those steps out. So it's classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. Pumpkin, slightly sweet, lightly spicy, great for French toast sandwiches and toast with nut butter. That sounds amazing. We're gonna give this a try. I would actually like to make this Thanksgiving morning. So that is our goal with that. Lastly, the pancake and waffle mix. Yum. This would be even good on Christmas morning. I'm excited to try this. So I think we got some great things to the fall season for Thanksgiving season to try. Like I said, if there's anything for Christmas that we need to go back for, let me know if you like the shop with me. Let me know, I unboxed it a little different. Let me know if you like that style. I had so much fun with Derek in the store last night. We saw a lot of things we liked, like a lot. So we'll definitely be going back and I'll keep you posted. All right, I'm gonna try some more of this food. You could stick around and uh, taste test with me, but I think it's time. I think it's time to taste a little more. All right, let's see what all the rave is. Oh no. <laughs> Mmm, that is dangerous. That is amazing. No wonder why everybody recommended it. I would definitely serve this up this holiday season. That is amazing. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Me, hey, Cece. Okay, sit. Good girl. Mmm, was that good? That was so good, huh? Here is that harvest soup. We're having it for lunch and it is so good. Perfect fall lunch. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, anything we need to try, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.